I'm loving the color scheme for today. I'm loving the corner. Probably this might be my corner. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If it's your first time tuning in, hi, my name is Zegosi. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Um, as you guys see by now, the title of this video basically is me just sharing. Honestly, at this point in time, I hope that you guys are enjoying this content. Or if not, you're sharing it because it might not be for you. It might be for someone you know, or it might be for you in the coming future. We don't, it is hot outside. So probably if you see me sweating, if you see me drinking water, just so you know, jaw work is hot again. So I will just jump straight to this video. Um, so I thought about this on my way from work that I should actually share how I ended up getting a, a gig to be a guest lecturer in one of the top universities in the world that is university of toronto um so we're gonna backtrack a bit um I'll, but i'll be very brief in the sense that remember from the last video i spoke about having um or having a relationship with your facilitator or uh, your lecturer uh, as well as making friends so those two components will come together in this video and this is just also for me to show you that I'm not just speaking these things just because they sound very nice or they're easy to say, but because they worked for me and I know they could work for you um, if only you will utilize them in the right way um, or the best way. So yeah, so if you are interested, please continue watching while I take my sip. Bye-bye. I'll see you on the other side. All right then. Um, so first things first, I did my honors once again. If you are new, I'll tell you it's okay. I did my honors in geography um, in Rhodes University. That is a BA degree. Um, I know we have all the speculations, all the information about BA, uh, BA qualifications, blah, 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 blah. Okay, shut up. I'm not into that. We'll come back later onto that one. Not now. Okay, so, um, and mostly because a component of me that I should also stick and say is that I am very curious in the sense that I want to know things. I want to speak to people, I want to engage people, I want to let people know of my future, especially like education-wise, like career-wise, what I would like to do, what I see myself doing, what I would love to do, what I dream of, what I dream about, all those things I share, you see? So, and the nice thing about postgrad is that you're a smaller group compared to undergrad where it's like hundreds of you, even tutorial groups, like probably like 20 of you and all that. But for my honors group, um, we were like 10. From that 10, it was geography. I forgot, was it water? Yeah, it was with the water department. So I was at 5'5". Five, five. So in the class that I was in, that is political ecology, um, that had only two students with one lecturer. So you can imagine. That was during actually um, COVID-19 hitting us in 2020. So we basically had that lecture um, throughout uh, the lockdown period. And our lecturer was based um, in... Toronto, that is Canada, but he was a visiting, I'd say visiting lecturer in Rhodes, but he also was from Makanda. So he was Yabo, he was just Jay. He was from that side technically, um, basically. So um then I got so basically from those interactions and and him um trying because it's all like a two of us, so you can at least understand. But so guys, where do you see us? Where do you see yourselves um going? Where where, where you guys are you continuing with school next year, which is masters, or are you um working and all that? So you have those conversations because it's just the three of you, you know. Um so I continued those chats and those conversations and that outside um of me uh, finally obtaining my honors. And I was like, I'd love to work with you. I mean, if it's an opportunity that's that's there, you know, you need to, you need to sell yourself. One tip, sell yourself. <laughs> so yeah, I I spoke about that, and luckily my supervisor then was close to the lecturer because she was doing her my my, my supervisor was doing her her PhD, and she was being supervised by this lecturer. Yeah, but, um, so the relationship in Jay was just in Jay. triangle situation, nice things, you know, I speak to her, I can speak to him, we can work together. It was that basically. So after I obtained my honors in 2021, during the period I stayed in Makanda, it was a thing and a half. Um, I don't know. I also, man, just props to my mother for just letting me be um, because I don't know the vision much. I just said to her, I want to go back to Makanda. I want to go and work. Um, I don't know what you want to call it in terms of work, but I think I'll be working with my lecturers. So please give me a shot into this, you know. 
I mean, she did, honestly. So during that time, I was working as a, as a research assistant, which is with my supervisor and the lecturer. But now they're no longer my supervisors, but they're just my supervisors in just terms of this project that we were doing. So we we're doing, I think, three papers, of which I still need to follow up to on them, which how far we are with that. Um, so yeah, <sighs> breathe. During that time, um, so basically they also see the side of me of, oh, you're good at research, oh, you... You know, you know what you're doing and you love what you're doing. And honestly, I was enjoying my time there, but I felt like I wish I could do it like in a bigger scale in the sense that not only um, because our, our projects were only aimed in Makanda, the one that was aimed back home, I did it before I went to Makanda. So it was like more like a back at home research I was doing, but I wanted to do it like in a bigger scale. But because it was also Zobana, I was not sure if I want to come back next year and how far I want to take this, but I also, I didn't want to not limit, I didn't want to limit myself in the sense that I didn't want to see beyond the fact that I also had to go to work or also go to school. Yeah, but, so I think from my side, I was the one who, they could have allowed me to do it. Honestly, I know they would, but I, I was still like an exploring kind of time, you know, and I'm so happy actually, would they allowed me to be that person, they allowed me to actually explore and see what works for me. And they went with whatever that i wanted to do as long as i was happy they were they could be on board if i wanted them on board they were off board if i wanted them off board um so it was really like it was a really great 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 relationship um so yeah so during that time gay of research and writing our papers and speaking because since he was based in canada i had to do most of the on the ground stuff and because the lecturer my supervisor was also still a lecturer at Rhodes, so I had to meet with her at certain days, certain times. She had to um, pick me up. We had to go and do the research stuff and go on the ground and all that, and then come back again um, to 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 write up and all that. So, as much as we worked together, um, basically I was the runner. Honestly, I was. I'd get the call that says we need you to go to municipality and say one, two, three. I'd have to jump because I'm the more available one and one who's close also what, what what worked for me was that i was more based central so i was based um in town so everything was just like a walking distance for me which made it much easier so yeah and um, that happened and continued for a long time and then um came december of 2021 so before i get to that backtrack again to my friends so remember i said friends very important component i know we will keep on unpacking this and understanding how it is really important um so i have friends uh, i'll mention my friends again because at least you guys know them i didn't want to mention the lecturer and all that just because you know consent wise this too i consent to god <laughs> um so no 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 i'm togo i'm sure you guys know them if you don't here are their pictures this is um togo this is those tengos. so basically during that time um we're friends yeah we're friends we're like yeah we're long 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 time friends so um also we need to understand this thing of you go, you have a lot of these friends but sometimes you know friends who you can take to certain places and also who would not really mind to be in a position where it's like think of something right now yeah but what do you think yeah but, so even though i gave them a brief of um the situation they were happy to be on board but get before i get deep to that again so i met to sit and i'm at uj um this uh, is uh 2018 and 2017 2017 being i think i met him 2017 as well guys it was a long time ago honestly it was a long time ago but trust me yeah yeah not not too far apart i met to sit because we shared quite I, oh we had a church function i met them through church society again go and sign up for the society you want to meet your friends you don't know you might meet your lifetime friends there do it listen to me go and do it honestly um so i met them um ch through church um that is dasm um during that time i met usite we had she was going to, actually she was going to leave for home we were going to have a first year's function at church um so we were called aside um to basically brainstorm what we were looking into this big day and all that so Sita was there and so we're introducing ourselves and it's like i'm sitting gossi i'm zegosi and people were really like are you guys sisters just like no i i'm only seeing her today with you guys i don't even know her you know 
um and she had to leave that afternoon because she was going back home um I was like I, I need i need to i need to check out that lady i need to check out that lady but i'll give her some time it's okay um because i'm that person i thought about it but i was like ah, let me not be too forward you know um then time went by um i think also because we were in Joburg and we were posa gellies um we would always gravitate to one another you know we started um and she didn't live too far from where I stayed as well when, when I was still like first year at that time. Um, so like in Jay, everything was just, oh, you're from Islam and Haibo and I'm trying to king. Actually, I was still based in king that time. Haibo and say king, say Islam. So, you know, all these things like, oh, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Fast forward, fast forward. Then I had Sutengosi on board. Then uh, I'm gonna mention only Tim Wilson and Pro again because I'm on I'm gonna base the story off them. I won't mention the entire crew because it's gonna be a long, long, long video. And then I met Um Togo. According to Um Togo, I don't remember much about Um Togo, but according to him, which I vividly remember, um, we were in church again. So we had alumni day. So alumni day is when obviously all the kings and the queens that have left the varsity have come back to basically grace us with their presence. So uh, we had the event, so Um Togo was sitting behind me. I used guys up until today. I still like Maynard Wine Gums. I'm a big fan, so I was I would always like stash some in my bag so that when I feel like I'm gonna be sleeping in church, I hit one, you know. So I was opening that packet. You know, that packet makes noise, you know. So I was opening that packet, um, and then I took one. Brother man there back behind me saw me and was like really sweet. I'm just like who's this guy? I was asking for his way, but okay, you know, because okay, we're in church, we shall share. So I pass him one, I pass him the packet actually, because I I remember I didn't take it out. I pass him the packet and he takes and he brings it back. I think from there onwards, Jay, you know, because Lom I mean, pay sweet so and all that, and then um we were introduced so he finally like, got introduced to his friends who were already my friends back then. I've only told it already like my friends. Like I knew them because Lita like, was Essa was uh Chipperson, so you know it was not Chipperson, everyone knows you. <laughs> so he was there. Um so it was it was very organic, very nice into it, you know, very, very, very nice. Um and then so fast forward into life, into the years, I understood them, I they understood me. Like we 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 just understood each other, man, you know. Um and then from there onwards, honestly, it's people you could take and go introduce to your family and be like, ah, this is my friend, this is my friend, because they're just that good, you know? So, and then come back again to the lecturer time. So the lecturer calls me December 2021 and says, hi, Zengosi, um, you know, I am thinking um, I'm going to have this um, lecture coming up in research and design um, and development. Um, so I'm looking into... I'll insert the actual name. I'm thinking of it right now because I'm just trying to remember. But I'll insert the actual lecture uh, um, class thingy name. So he's like, um, so oh, actually, he called me actually via WhatsApp call. He's like, um, I'm I'm gonna have a lecture. I'd like for, normally for this lecture, I would have someone from outside to come and speak to the students. Um, so last year I had Mang Mang. That year I had Mang Mang. And because you've been working with me and we've been working on this, so you would understand, I'd love for you to do it. And I'm like, sorry, sir, what? He took me through, okay? Like, he really took me through it in the sense that don't feel pressure, but understand that this is big because it's one of the top universities. You'll be getting paid for it. You'll also be um, getting recognized for it via a certificate. So I did get paid. I also got the certificate um, after its work. So he, one thing about him actually is that in terms of what I work, I get money and I get like money and that's the end of it, you know. Um so yeah, he was like, um, so are you up for it? I'm like, are you asking? Are you asking? I said yes, and I got nervous afterwards. Like, you know what? I can't, I can't miss this one. I surely cannot miss this one. From there on as I jumped and I called my mother, like, I girl, your girl's gonna be a lecturer, you know, a guest lecturer, a virtual guest lecturer. And to me, that was her booty. If it was possible i should have been there you know i should have i should have gone to toronto and uh during that time actually i was doing big things so i was just like it's a sign it's a sign i should, I should go over so i should go overseas um yeah and i was up for it i said yes i didn't even hesitate he was like coolies i'll give you proper details as time goes on the lecture will be next month which is january it took place on the 24th of january um 2022 2022 Yes, yes, yes. That was last year. 
and it's like okay that's fine i should sure have my festive season to enjoy coolios we happy we good time came up and was like hmm so he was busy giving me uh, um, things to work around and ideas and all that then i remembered i have friends yes i can have this shine this moment to shine and all that but because i know when i'm nervous i forget a lot of things how about i bring my soldiers to come and assist me and i know because they are very good thinkers and they're very um attentive they can always assist me when i feel like oh it's getting too much so i hit him up i call the lecture i'm like um yeah i understand what you want me there but is it okay if i have my friends come over like to come and watch that was the first thing i said to come and watch he's like as long as they won't expect anything i'm just like i go i'm not really but i mean if you have something that you can give them that won't be necessarily money i i understand but so yeah and then he was like okay that's cool um they can they can pull through they come and watch then i tweaked it all again it's like okay i'm thinking wouldn't it be nice to have people from different backgrounds to come and share the experiences of what we we're talking because we're talking about um south africa we're talking about the issues surrounding unemployment issues surrounding school and basically also as much as we have all those um um um, um problems or i'd say shortcomings and all that but we still prosper we still success we still do big things like right now i'm from a village but i'm here i am talking to like um to students in the university of toronto you know so we're talking around things of as much as there are problems there much, much as there are challenges happening in our country but we still do big things in bigger countries you know um so we were just having a conversation around that and honestly just to share also to people in canada what the situation is in south africa and also not this notion of this is just like a jungle and nothing good happens from this side you know or comes from this side so he was like actually that's a good idea to bring different voices to bring different people to come and share their thoughts and basically have a discussion more than it becoming a lecture a lecture you know and it's like ah, ah got you they're coming sure we'll say say less say less so i hit them up and trust me i did all this before i hit them up so i hit them up like guys so please come with me to a lecture um it's happening online at the university of toronto like they were so happy like i was already like cool calm down cool down right like what like they were so happy like they were over the moon happy and they're like actually no it's fine we'll pull through i'm like are you for reals like because they basically decided to lend money and all that but i didn't know which guys will be up for it also oh one thing again it was happening at night because remember the time um the time what do you call this not time interval was man but okay, the fact that that side when it's midnight, this side it's daylight. When it's daylight, midnight here, that side it's the morning, whatever. You know, I'll write the word probably I because hey, because yeah, I'm, I my mind is just not thinking about that right now. But basically, I had to tell them, good, you guys have to be up at 10 p.m. This is all happening at 10 p.m. We'll probably sleep at midnight. You know, they're like, oh okay, but okay, we're still up. I was like, okay, coolios. I'll give you guys the proper brief and all that tomorrow morning and yeah, bonje. What you guys should prepare your girl on they were like we're good i tell my lecture we're good and we were all good we were all happy right so then uh the dates approach um i remember on the day the guys were like ah we're going to toronto i'm like guys it's virtual like we're still going to toronto <laughs> so during that time the lecture went well the discussions were perfect like the the, the lady and the gent sit in trouble they went they went in for me and i'm so happy that actually i still look back on that day and i'm like hmm i wonder if god really thinks things like in jail i think i had because you know I, I feel like we do things just for the fun of it and it's like ah, oh, i know you you're my friend and all that but i never thought that i would do big things and be so open to saying i want to bring my friends i want to come along with me into this and trust them enough to bring them in such a space because at the end of the day as much as my i called them it's under my name so if they were to do something a weird high things that were unaccepted it would have been a thing of but we live in a life where we have people that we trust and honestly i don't take it for granted because those ones as oh geez guys oh geez our friends those ones so and then um after the lecture happened i think i waited for like a few days i lined i think close to a week or two and then the staff gave uh the payment was processed i was happy you know and then the certificate was also um sent through and then also this came so there were different i think it was a black and navy blue 
and then this color as well if you can see let me hide my eyes yeah that's yeah so we got three of these so i then had distribute and give it to the guys but okay in all honesty shame i was so happy and just to show you the same the thing of when i say to you guys make friends and make sure that you choose the right friends i mean it and then again when i say to you do not hold back in approaching a lecturer and just be express yourself man especially if you are passionate about what you're doing just express yourself and if you're not always ask for guidance but um i enjoy one two three who would you, what would you suggest what would you um tell, like guide me to do if, if i want to end up in this way like do not hold back because you don't know what the person on the other side has to offer yeah but so i really i look back to that day and just be like hey and then i said so get around to work virtually <laughs> but um the thought of it would see someone would trust you because also on the lecturer's side to bring a person on Azango while lecture i'm only used to tutoring and all that and just presenting stuff but for him he had to trust me as much as i trust my friends that they had to stand up and do the thing so it was like a, a thing of trusting and trusting and trusting to a point where we were all happy you know so um i just wanted to share that and i really hope that it really 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 inspires someone and that you guys you go for your goals you go for your big ideas it doesn't matter how sp small biggish you think it is that it cannot be done it can be done nothing is impossible only your mind will tell you which in fact it's you who's holding yourself back yeah well, so try and if you see an opportunity grab it and make sure that we are chela ever you go like this you hold on to it um so yeah i thought i, thought I should share that and um hopefully someone out there will do something about what they are currently thinking about because i know we all have this big ideas of what we want to do but we never want to talk to anyone about it because we are so fearful that it might not happen or the person might crash it even if that's the thing that happens do not feel like it is not possible it is possible like i'll be holding this to get toronto for that matter i'd be recognized so far um so that's honestly just me to you saying that go for your big dreams honey they do make sense and they will make sense if they don't make sense right now be patient they will they will um so yeah have a lovely day and i uh, hope that you're going to go for your dreams and that you're going to do something today is a step closer to you achieving um those big ideas those big goals so i will see you guys next time so please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and share this and probably just tell me also on the comment section what happened in varsity that you didn't imagine happening through your friends or through you um being uh vocal in class let's call it vocal we're not we're not forward as papi we are vocal in class so yeah bye and i'll see you next time